Hi, I'm Karen Lovich, and I'm the practice leader for the health law practice at Mintz Levin. I am also a healthcare regulatory lawyer, and I spend most of my time advising clinical laboratories on enforcement, transactional, and regulatory matters. And I wanted to talk today a little bit about what's happened with labs in 2015 and what we might expect to see in 2016. Um, it has been, to say the least, an eventful year for laboratories when it comes to healthcare fraud enforcement. Um, there have been a number of uh, federal settlements and cases brought against laboratories. And you know, this year's really been reminiscent of lab scam from the late 1990s, for those of you who are around at that time. And um, the enforcement matters are very similar. They involve uh, anti-kickback statutes, Stark Law matters, as well as uh, allegations around uh, schemes to encourage the ordering of medically unnecessary testing. So it will be interesting to see what happens with these cases. We've seen settlements that have led to the bankruptcy filings uh, for a number of laboratories and large settlements paid out by a number of laboratories. And then we have some pending cases and I'm sure uh, there are going to be some cases um, yet to come. Um, another thing I would mention uh, that's happening in the laboratory industry right now is the uh, repricing of the Medicare or clinical laboratory fee schedule. Um, there has been a fair amount of controversy around that initiative of CMS and they, uh, the comments have gone in on the proposed rule and the final rule is going to be coming in 2016 and by all accounts it's possible that some smaller labs uh, are really going to suffer as a result of this repricing and we may even see a number of laboratories close while larger laboratories um, may um, prosper as a result of this change. So I think um, there are many other things happening in the lab industry. Those are just two that I would mention and 2016 um, is sure to be an eventful year as well.